Good morning. Good morning, my darkling dreamers. My name is HFIC. For those of you who don't know me, head fairy in charge. Close friends call me Nilsa. We are doing a spooky ooky ooky reading. Actually, let me put on my microphone. Hold on one second. Do, 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 do. All right, that should be better. That should be best, actually. We are going to clear the energy. Highest and best messages for my Darkling Dreamers. We are using the Horror Tarot as well as a bunch of other oracles. So if you don't like gore, viewer beware. You're in for a scare. All right. Let's see what you need to know. All right, we have temperance. Four of swords, king of swords. A lot of you are getting messages in your dreams. You're healing in your dream in your sleep as well. Some of you could be dream walking. You'll know because like you'll wake up um, feeling like, even if you got eight hours, you'll feel like you didn't sleep at all because your spirit, your soul was wandering around active. We have six of pentacles here. This is somebody's energy you're sharing. So you are you could be dream walking into somebody else's dream and vice versa. And it's not just you. Their subconscious is aware of it. All right. We have the sun. This is somebody. Uh, the types of dreams you could be having aren't actually scary. It's almost like you don't want to wake up for them, from them. It could be fantasies. Feeling like it's real. Like you can feel the heat of somebody's body. We have page of swords. For some of you, that's the only communication you're getting. Because somebody walked away from communication, could have been blocking, something like that. Somebody just had enough and they were like, I'd rather, I'd rather have silence than argument. So yeah, somebody cut somebody off there. And you feel like you got the last word, you got the upper hand. So for some of you where you cut somebody off and they're still showing up in your dreams, um, it's because the connection is so strong, like nothing you do in the 3D is really going to push this away. We have Ace of Wands, Fresh Energy, and The Magician. Somebody's trying to get back. I'm hearing in your good graces, in your good graces, somebody's with the top hat as well, like trying to control the narrative, to control the show. It's almost like an illusion of control because someone's still showing up in your dreams. Bottom of the deck here is the star. Um, a lot of the planetary shifts are affecting what's going on in your connection. So it's like some you're getting signs from spirit, even if you're not looking for them, even if you're not doing readings or watching readings. So if you found this reading, it's definitely a big sign for you. We are going to go into the thousand, what does the hell does it say? It's hard to see with my bright lights. Thousand, the journey of a thousand nightmares. I can make you mine, taste your lips of wine anytime, night or day. Only problem is, gee whiz, I'm dreaming. Uneasy, discontent. Uh, yeah, so somebody's really frustrated. I'm hearing. Fr I heard it like that. Secret admirer. Um, and then we have boss bitch energy. Somebody with the magician going back to, I said, someone's trying to control the narrative. Like to have the upper hand, to feel like they're making the decisions. 
in a connection, especially with cutting off communication. Uh, her cape here coming off with the red looks very similar to the lab coat there. So it, it is like some, there's still chemistry I'm hearing with the lab coat, still chemistry. Um, yeah, boundaries, protecting your energy is self-care. I feel like you did this. I feel like you cut them off, but they deserved it. We have leveling up, eclipse moon. Un, we have unpredictable. So you're kind of like, and we have ancestors honoring the past. You're kind of like, I don't like who you become until you've ascended to a better person. I'm going to, I'm going to, appreciate the good parts of the past but it doesn't mean we're making new memories seeking answers the divination this is going back to is it this card no i'll find it i'll find it <laughs> maybe it's not in the tarot That's on a Ouija board somewhere. Where did I see it? Hold on. I want to make sure I'm not seeing things. Dun, 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 dun. I saw on a Ouija board. What was it? Jeepers! Maybe it hasn't come out yet. Oh, it was the bottom of the deck. That's why. Um, okay, again. It's almost like the only communication you want is through the cards. Is like through, you're like, maybe I'll watch a reading, but I'm not going to talk to them. <laughs> you're like, I will find out from far away. Bucko. Bucko. You've got options, multiple choices. So I feel like you could be watching a few readings. Some are telling you um, to keep them blocked. Some are telling you to unblock them. Um, what else do you need to know? All right, we have traditions, inner child. Can I come out and play? Um, so it's almost like they know there's something that they can, I heard activate. They can lure you through Something they know is like irresistible. They might invite you somewhere. I don't know if it's like an escape room, an arcade, a haunted house, something. I said house and foundation came out. Um, it's something that you've always loved. You could, it could be like Six Flags or I don't know, hiking, something like that. Where it, it's almost like they know if they invite you to this thing, a part of you can't say no. You won't say no. Yeah, the poll is there for some of you looking for evidence about the soulmate. So you're not looking for, some of you are not looking for signs necessarily. You're like, I just want to be left alone for a minute. Fuck their couch. And then they are, look, because if you cut somebody off, it's like they're looking from, for signs from you. They're looking for, they're probably looking to see if you're like watching their um stories or um paying attention to them or somebody wants attention here we have out of control secrets hidden information yeah so um it's almost like they're investigating is a, almost obsessive it's something they keep to themselves. So it's almost like someone's like, well, what are you looking for? I'm hearing to switch decks. So we have that invitation there, that offer. Okay, we have manipulation. Again, they know it's something you can't refuse. So there's the spying, the investigating, incoming news. The hangman, new perspective, shocking news. 
So we'll look into these with the other decks. This just but I'll connect with guides. Um, some of you, it doesn't have, I'm hearing some of you, it doesn't have to be family for ancestors and spirit guides that passed on. For some of you, it could be someone you were close to that gave you advice in the waking world and is giving you advice in the spirit realm as well. Outsiders looking in. Somebody that looked out for you before. Like could be neighbors, could be um, professors. Definitely someone who gave you advice in the real world. And they're there for you as a guide as well. So if you can try calling upon them. I think they will be able to help you as well regarding advice for things. It doesn't have to just be family. Thanks. <laughs> we have Relentless Stalker. Okay, so uh, someone is watching you. Sometimes I feel like somebody's watching me. And I got no privacy. So Relentless, they're not giving up. Let's grab these. We have silence, not even a word. Yeah, one of you has been um, like, no, thank you. My communication's a privilege, and you are underprivileged, my good man. Is she coming back down the road? No one knows. It's just a dream. Oh, look. Oh, look. Block calls. Yeah, you're, uh, some, you definitely blocked somebody or they blocked you. Arising from the ashes. So if they blocked you, you are going to, un um, they're going to unblock you. If you block them, you're going to consider that something's going on. There's something going on. Um, purging out toxicity. That could be the news that they want to tell you, like, Oh, I broke up with the karmic, or I left that terrible job, or I stopped talking to so-and-so. We have hopeful here, manifesting change. So earlier, when um, the Ascension card came up, and I said, you're going to be like, you know, I honor the past and the feelings I had for you, but um, you're underwhelming. <laughs> you're underwhelming me with your change. So when you level up, and it doesn't have to be, I mean, like a monetary leveling up. It could just be, um, you know, like, you know, they say like waking up, growing up. When they have their Saturn return, it's like, you know, there's things that you want to talk about that they don't want to talk about. <laughs> like the moon. <laughs> we have under control. Again, you felt like for a while you can't control their inner child. You can't control them growing up spiritually. So you're controlling what you can. And you're like, you can control your boundaries. And that's what's important right now. That's what's important. Desire and passion. Yeah, they're not going to stop because they are really desiring you. They feel like they got no closure with the ghosting. With the ghosting. And then we have backstabbed. Can't be trusted. That's why you cut them off. They could have betrayed you. Black Widow. Marrying for money. We have besties seeking support. So, um... We have addictions, feeling void. So it could be that, you know, they're with um, a bad relationship because their best friend gave them advice, like, and they could be using it as a distraction. That could have been the betrayal. They're using that as a distraction. Or maybe they, or maybe um, they have a friend that has a crush on them and is like, oh, you should break up with her or stop talking to her. Um, and then the best friend put the moves. You don't know. We don't know. There's a lot of situations for a lot of viewers. My 12 viewer. <laughs> Do you ever see that? Um, did you guys ever see that reel on Instagram that says it's like a sound, but a lot of people keep redoing the same video. It says to my 12, to the 12 people that always uh, like my post, do you guys want anything from the gas station? <laughs> so we have contemplating decisions. 
So it feels like they made a decision that betrayed you and they took advice from non-spiritual people. Unascended people. We have tough love, painful romance. Um, I feel like both of you were trying to control control things. And it's like they wanted their cake and, and they wanted to have their cake and eat it too. And you want to have control over communication or about your boundaries. Basically, you deserve I'm hearing you deserve it. You deserve to have those boundaries. So. Tough love. Anything else? Thanks. Thanks. Finding peace. So we got a sanctuary. Is probably I'm probably not gonna find it now. Now that I put them all away. Where did I put them? Well, we had it earlier. It's probably gone now. <laughs> um, we had a sanctuary card earlier. So that's good. All right. We have trapped, locked down, inseparable. So there should be somebody living with um, boyfriend, girlfriend, wife, husband, and they're always around. And so that could also go with the stalker thing where it's, sometimes I feel like somebody's watching me. So there could be someone like watching someone's phone, iPad, iWatch, or get it, iWatch, whoa. Um, and so they're not risking messaging you because they're like, oh, well, I have an audience. Manipulation came through again. Someone is trying to control the situation like... Um, First of all, someone's doing, I, I know I'm not one of those people that want to say it, but if it comes out, I say it. If it comes out in the cards, I'll say, okay, in this situation, there's been somebody doing love spells on your person to keep them trapped. Or maybe even doing, trying to do cord cuttings on you and the other person so they could stop having feelings for you, so they could stop thinking about you, but it's not working. They're not, look. We have another announcement put on blast. There's another announcement. They're going to tell you something because they want news to get to you about something. If they got out of this situation, they want you to find out. But if you have them blocked, they're not going to find out directly. You're going to find out indirectly. Last call. Overwhelmed. Somebody's overwhelmed by signs. They're getting fucking annoyed at this point. Get annoyed drifting away they just want it to stop they're hoping like, with time the memory will just fade away into the ether fade away stuck in denial. yeah you think <laughs> you're the one stuck in denial like if with enough time time heals all wounds uh not in this case we have forgiveness you might end up forgetting this person their way anticip anticipation they're waiting for you to unblock them or forgive them or something um, if you're saying, Nilsa, they don't deserve it, honey, I am with you 100%. If they don't, then don't. There's going to be some people that are going to feel like, well, I'll open this door. And some people are going to be like, bye-bye, love, I'll catch you later. Got my left foot down on my accelerator. And my rear view mirror torn off. Because I ain't never looking back. And that's a fact. Um, we have vengeful because this is you becoming villain, especially if you're Libra or Pisces and their villain era. It was dormant, like a fucking disease is dormant. All right. You've always <laughs> you've had the power all along, dear. You just had to see it for yourself. We have a surprise coming. You're going to hear something. But they think that if you hear this news, it's going to change everything. Like you're just going to be like. Um, oh, okay, everything's fine now. But you're not going to forget. I don't think you want to forgive either. Look, we have emancipation, running, you ran from them. And then we have that, there's that, <laughs> there's that thirst, there's that, um, that passion, that hunger that came out earlier. It's this, you can feel them like longing for you almost. Reborn projection. They want a new, a second chance because they're pretending to be somebody to a bunch of other people around them. 
They really care what people around them think. They might act tough like they don't care, but they do because if they didn't, they wouldn't be wearing a mask. They wouldn't be masked. Anything else here? Unexplained forces, insomnia, call to open up to ancestors. Some of you have like a friend or neighbor, I'm telling you, friend, neighbor, teacher, mentor that passed on that is there for you. That's, if you have questions, call out to them. Ask for signs. It's landed on this invasion of privacy. Okay, then. Betrayed by those you loved. Decisions. And then blinded. You didn't see a betrayal coming. I'm telling you, somebody was betrayed. You didn't see a betrayal coming. You made the decision. And now you feel violated because you feel like they're still involved in your life. Like, I don't know if they follow your mom or dad or siblings or, or cousins, whatever. I feel violated. Ideal vessel, finding a way to peace, claustrophobic situation, a vessel for healing. You know what you've done. Mask off. See, I said they're the one wearing the mask. Mask off. They've been looking inwards. Breaking tradition. 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 Forsaken neutral forces between good and evil. Don't be fooled by appearances. Uh, so they're going to learn to go their own way, but that's part of growing up. Saying my way or the highway. My way, showtime, manifesting you. Oh, manifesting you. I grabbed from the top. New idea, manifesting you, determined, pull through. That came through earlier, the magician thing. You were trying to manifest them either growing up or going the fuck away. <laughs> Uh, you're not ready. I'm not ready to make nice. I'm not ready to back down. I'm still mad as hell. I don't have time to go around, around, around. All right, timeless wisdom, intuition, ancestors again. Premonitions, avoiding mistakes. That could be part of the divination that came through earlier. We have simulation, time warp, seeing signs. They're seeing a lot of signs here. Evidence, there you go, finding proof, the signs. Yeah. Thank you. A light in the dark, better times ahead. Um, watch your back. You're not going to trust them for a, a while. That's why you're like, why bother? Imitation, not being the true self, copying. You're like, why bother? Like, I don't know. If you're being a phony pony or if this is, you're just telling me what I want to hear. You're just giving me lip service. Don't let somebody give you lip service. Last call. Thank you. Suffering in silence. We have judgment. Um, they needed this silence. They needed it, but they're trying to manifest you back into communication. This is only going to really resonate for someone that cut somebody off. They're trying to... But they need to really reflect and realize that they did some kind of betrayal here. Could be little, could be big. The betrayal could be something as simple as going against advice you gave them. And it kind of took them off the trajectory. And now you're like, you've insulted my intelligence. You've insulted my intuition. Really? <laughs> you're like, ah. Oh. No, nope, nope, nope. All right, we're gonna put these down because I'm gonna get into the tarot. That's it. Kitty. We've got two mini ones that we're gonna do and we'll close out with a coin. What else do we need to know overall? The devil justice. Yep, yeah, so you took a part you wielded the sword 
for this justice for the betrayal. We have the star. You know that you're like, I know I'm the star of your daydreams, your sleeping dreams, your fantasies. I'm going to show up everywhere. The tower, the lovers. And then we have the hermit. Yeah, this thing changed the urgency as well, which was, was heartaching for some of you. They could be um, Gemini. They could be Virgo. And we have the death card. Yeah, you're trying to say, you know what? We can't go back to this. Can't go back. Oh, <laughs> we have the temperance, high priestess, and the emperor. You're saying I, that old person has to die. The old me's dead and gone, dead and gone. Yeah, that old, there needs to, I'm hearing there needs to be more of you in this person. You see that cup with a cup, right? It was all everyone else's opinion. They need to pour out that nasty ass cup with the star card, right? Be like, psh, and then pour in a bunch of the empress, the high priestess energy, the empress energy into their own cup. Then they'll have that wisdom to be the emperor. Okay. Then they'll have the strength. Then they'll have the strength, okay? Because you were tired. It's almost like you were tired of the wait, waiting for the universe to bring on justice. You're like, I'm pressing justice. Boop. Boop. You're like, it's one button. Goodbye, senor. Goodbye, senor, senior. again I haven't listed these but I have some of these um, laminated cards I'm going to be listing on Etsy they need to know take yep bio exorcist somebody might have moved in had a toxic roommate or something or their parents were toxic and they're going to be leaving that let's zoom in more you're going to be leaving that. There's a tower again. It could be That could be the news because you got news and announcement a few times. Girls, there's the tower again. <laughs> I'm so glad I left my tower. There's the hanged man. There's, whoa, there's the hanged man again. So you, it's like mirrored energy. You both have towers coming in your life. And you both have a new perspective coming. I'm also hearing um, there's the sisters and the moon. I was, I was going to say, I'm also hearing there's some hidden energy with the seeing the other perspective. But I was like, who's hanging you? Somebody's hanging you out to dry. And then the sisters came out and the moon. You might have a close friend or a sibling that is secretly like jealous of you and, and kind of going to like rat you out or spill your secrets or not come to your aid when you need help with something. It might have to do with um, this person where they're like, if you go back to them, I'm not going to help you out. I'm not going to bail you out this time. Queen of Pentacles. The moon again. So this could be... Um, the sister could be Virgo Taurus Capricorn. And we have the fool. They feel like you're standing very close to danger with the dynamite. That you're kind of like making your own bed, making your own risks. The moon is on the bottom again. Um, making your own risks. And they feel like they see something that you don't see, but you do see. And some things are worth risking for you. All right, this is going to be loud. This is going to be loud. Give me one minute. Bye -bye, love. So if you were, anyway, if you're watching this and you were wondering, oh my God, so am I seeing things? So and so miss me? Are they dreaming about me? I'm having weird dreams. That's a yes. All right, this is yes or no coin. Think of a question. This says no, okay? 
And the answer to your question was no. All right. We're going to do, um, I don't know if I have it out here. Do I have it out here? I do. I do. We're going to give you a little happy message. What is this? Oh, this was the other cards I put to the side when I said, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, I feel like somebody's stalking somebody's family. And that's how they know. Oh, did you go on this trip? Did you do this? Did you do that? Oh, they're going to know like all your family's names. And you're going to be like, what the fuck? All right. Goonies never say done. Okay, so somebody's not giving up. Their love is not fragile. It's stronger than you think. The connection's stronger. That's why some of you are dream walking. You're dreaming together on the same, um, it's not cadence, what do you call it? Circadian rhythm, something like that. I have to go get my mail. Okay, more than you know. So you're aligned more than you know. Uh, they could be, um, if you have salty skin, they could be going to the beach or something and then thinking about you, kissing you. You are the new dream still. <laughs> their heart beats your name. They do see when they dream, when they close their eyes, um, when they're sad, when they're happy. And they've made some promises that you thought that they were never going to fulfill, but they say they are still going to fulfill them. Here's some truth bombs. I am going to rise to the challenge. I promise I am going to fulfill these dreams. Um... My new dream is to make your dream come true. So some of you, they're going to be telling you things similar to this, almost verbatim. And you're going to think, are you giving me lip service? Are you just yanking my chain? Okay. Um, so that's where you're going to have some, some caution. And you also feel like, I don't feel like there's been enough time. So for some of you, if you think somebody needs six months, some of the, you think they need uh, like six years <laughs> to, to grow up or something. So use your intuition. Keep watching the divination that helps. It's If you had a choice between like messaging them or watching divination, uh, but you feel safer in the divination, do that. Girls, my, my candles are on uh, Etsy. Thank you for those who've already bought some and showed your support. I love you 3,000. Oh, yeah. Subscribe, like, comment, follow my ticky talky. But most importantly, buy my candles. All right. <laughs> That's a wrap. Cut the check. I'll see you real soon.